Oh! Hi, it's Tuesday. You're watching Tasty Tuesday. Show is Tuesday. Try to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. <laughs> Boo! Did I scare you? Okay, so you know how Christmas likes to start in October now and butt into every other month's holidays, including after Christmas all the way through January? Well, I thought we would give Christmas a taste of its own medicine and make some very spooky cupcakes during this Christmas season. I mean, after all, trick-or-treaters are pretty much the same as Christmas carolers, but less annoying. Think about it. So we're making some spooky spooky Spider cupcakes get freaking pumped about it. Let's make this dish. Ooh, I'm gonna start by putting on this. I just want to do a good job, Nikki Limo apron. Still on sale. Link in the description if you want to buy one. You guys have been sending me pictures of you wearing these, and it has been filling me with life. Thank you so much for that. I love love seeing them. Get one if you want one. Um, they seem to be arriving to people fairly quickly, but if you want to guarantee them to get to your house by Christmas, you should order by today, December 4th. Otherwise, let's make this dish. Ooh, it looks spooky. We're gonna start by preheating our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Boom. Then we're gonna take a large or medium bowl, this one's pretty large, and put the following ingredients inside. One and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Ooh, some spooky witching flour. We're really sticking it to the man, I tell you. Excuse you. It says one fourth of cocoa powder, but we're gonna put a half cup of cacao powder because we're very fancy during this holiday season. Cacaoing at the moon. Ooh. One teaspoon baking soda. More like so dead. Ooh. And a half teaspoon salt. Sodium. Okay, we're just gonna sit this all together because we're professional at baking. Yes, yes, I love how long this takes. Yes, it's my favorite. You need to go faster. I'm over it. How about that? I'm over it. How about that? To our dry mixture, we are gonna add a third a cup of vegetable oil. Oh, thank you. I mean, oh, spooky. What a spooky oven. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now, it says to use one teaspoon of distilled white vinegar, but I also read in the comment section that balsamic vinegar goes really well with chocolate. So, we're gonna try that instead. So, one teaspoon of balsamic oil, balsamic vinegar, balsamic vinegar. Some vinegar, scary. Are you scared? How about now? Ooh, I'll get you into the Halloween spirit. And we're doing one cup of water. What are you afraid of? Cause I'll do it, don't tempt me. And now we're just gonna stir this. Cause we have a stand mixer for nothing. Cause all the recipes tell you just to stir things. It's fine, it's fine, no one's mad. I feel like maybe I missed a wet ingredient. Does not look like liquid at all. Maybe I add a little bit more water? Does this look right to you? Looks like frosting. Maybe because I added double cocoa powder. I don't know what to do. What happens when this happens? Leave me a comment, let me know. Oh my God, I just tasted this and I forgot to add the sugar. It tastes like pure salt. Can I do that? Can I add it now? I messed up. Redo. Just want a very spooky Christmas. Christmas. Is that so hard? One cup of organic sugar. Grr. It's also it's the same tribe as the vinegar. Scary. It is scary when you miss ingredients. I'll tell you that. Please fix this. Thank you. I fucked up. Hi. Hi. I fucked up. Excuse me. Blue. I fucked up. Yeah. Oh, that's much better. I forgot that sugar acts as a wet ingredient. This makes sense. Now go ahead. Leave all your mean comments. Ooh, this is what I was looking for. Yes. Much better consistency. I'm so smart. I'm so smart. Okay. Now we're gonna grease our little cupcake pan. Pant? Yeah. Over our cupcake pants. Put your cupcake pants on and we're gonna grease our cupcake pan. You know what I just realized? This is also a cup recipe. I didn't plan that. I just wanted to make a spooky dessert. Cupcakes fine to me. So now we're gonna fill our cupcake pan. Oh, again, I like to use this um, ice cream scooper thing. It's a small ice cream scooper and it really helps you be accurate with filling the cups. It's like exactly the amount that you need. And I like that. It makes my life easier. Oh, that tastes much better with sugar in it. Weird how a cupcake batter could taste better with sugar in it. Okay, now that our cupcake pan is filled with our batter. Okay, so originally this recipe was for a nine by five inch loaf pan and it says to bake it for 45 minutes, but since we're using a cupcake pan, we're gonna bake it for 20 minutes and check on it because we're totally guessing. It's Total guessing game. This kitchen, always. 20 minutes, boom. While that's in there, we're gonna work on the frosting. But you saw that coming. Did you see that coming? Did you see this coming? Yeah, I didn't think so. Do you have a boner? If I look like somebody who has been eating leftover brownie batter, that is not true, and you shouldn't believe lies. It was cupcake batter, so. To make the frosting, 
do, we are gonna take one small saucepan, put it on your stove aggressively, so it knows that we mean business. Yeah, surprise. We're gonna do one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. These are dairy-free. I don't know if the regular kinds are dairy-free, but you know, go nuts, or go chips. Go cuckoo for cocoa, oh my god. Yeah, I agree, it was a bad joke. Oh, don't turn that on yet. Did I t say to turn it on? No, I did it. Why is my hand doing that? My hand is an idiot. One cup of chocolate chips. Fourth cup of milk. I'm doing almond milk. You can basically do any kind of milk except for canned coconut milk. Don't do that. It won't work out for you. A fourth a cup of coconut oil or non-salted butter. Do I even have a fourth a cup? Jimmy, criminy. Oh, man. That was probably like what I needed to make a fourth a cup. Always at the end of ingredients. I think I might have exactly a fourth a cup or just shy of a fourth a cup. And then that fucker decided to fall on the floor. Do you think, in your very personal opinion, that that's enough for a fourth of cups? This is making it very hard. To it's enough. Hopefully. I'm skating by here. This almost coconut spoiled everything. And then a pinch of salt. Yeah. And we're gonna melt all that together over medium low heat. There you go, Han. Now you're doing things on time. We're just gonna stir this until it looks not disgusting, and then we'll move on from there. Okay, I think we got there. It's looking pretty good now. Ghoulishly good. Good. Very spooky. Are you feeling the Halloween vibe yet? Okay, now what do we do? Oh, now we're gonna let this cool off for like 15 minutes. Got a little heated, it needs some time. By the way, this frosting is not gonna be super duper sweet. If you want it to be sweet, you can add some powdered sugar to it. While it was melting, I'm not going to. It's gonna be more of like a fudgy type of sweet. It's gonna be good, but it's not gonna be super diabetes sweet. 15 minutes. A cupcake's just beeped at me, which means we're gonna take them out and do a toothpick test and see if that was enough time to give them. Ooh, they look good. Look at how pretty. Look at how round they look on top. Wow. You look beautiful. Are you done? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're done. So 20 minutes was really good. Good job, me. Slap a hat. Cool, so I can turn the oven off and not die of a heat stroke. The frosting mixture still needs another like 10 minutes. The cupcakes definitely need at least 10 minutes. We're letting everything just chill. Everybody just needs to chill. I'll see you in a little bit though. P.S. While we're waiting for all the stuff to cool down, my sous chef and my inspiration behind these aprons would like to remind you to go get an apron. That is all. Okay, it's been 15 minutes and this is a little bit of a tricky part. We're gonna put our frosting mixture into the fridge for 15 to 20 minutes and we're gonna stir it every five minutes until it's firm enough to frost the cupcakes. If you leave it too long, it'll get too firm and you won't be able to use it. So listen to me. I know what I'm talking about because I've read the directions. Move ketchup. Five minutes, stir. Five minutes, stir. Five minutes, stir. Five minutes, stir and done. Maybe, hopefully. Five minutes, we're stirring. Ooh. Guys, this is getting pretty and it's only been five minutes. How exciting. I won't. Psych. Do five more minutes. Ooh. Look at me now. Should have like one or two more stirs left. And then we'll be ready to frost this bitch. I'm so sorry you're not a bitch. It is a bitch. Get five more minutes. Are you ready yet? Are you ready to frost some cupcakes? I feel like just about. I don't think we need another five minutes. Cool, so 15 minutes worked pretty well for us. We took five of our cupcakes and I put it on a plate so it'll make it easier to frost. And now we're just gonna frost these babies. You've done this before. So do it again. Yes. This is the perfect consistency. I like it. It's terrific. I think there's only a set amount of Halloween puns in the world and they use them every year. This actually would have been this year's Tasty Tuesday for Halloween if it didn't get all screwed up when I was in Bali, but you're getting it now. So that's all that matters. And this is actually a better version of it. The one I used on Halloween originally had buttercream frosting and it was just too rich, it was like too sweet. This is better. Okay, voila, our cupcakes are frosted. Don't these look delicious? Holy crap. See, they're like a fudgy kind of frosting. Something different. Now we're gonna sprinkle the shit out of some chocolate sprinkles. We're just gonna cover them in chocolate sprinkles. Either these kind, or I also have these Halloween spooky sprinkles that I always forget to use that have black sugar sprinkles. Bless you. So either one of those work. We'll try both. Different spiders for different people. Ooh, I like the black sprinkles. Yeah, this is getting really spooky. Sprinkle all the way. Now that we've sprinkled our cupcakes, I took some black licorice rope and I trimmed it down into leg size pieces. And this is just for decoration. If you are actually a person that enjoys black licorice as a dessert, you clearly have no soul. And so you should serve these at Christmas. We're just gonna stick each little 
licorice rope piece into the sides. Spiders have eight legs. Let's try to be anatomically correct so we don't offend any spiders out there. I feel like Santa Claus would enjoy these cupcakes a lot more than the typical unoriginal sugar cookies. Like, switch it up. He is bored. Then we're gonna take some eyeball sprinkles and put some of those on the spiders. Now, spiders, I think, also have eight eyes. Well, we don't have time for that. We're just gonna put two eyes on each. And I hope the spiders are very offended. Oh! See, they are. God damn it. And there we go! Ooh, spooky. I love these, no joke. I feel like these guys are Black Widow spiders right here, and then these are Brown Recluse spiders right here, clearly. So yeah, there's that. I hope you have a very spooky holiday season. We're gonna find out if these are tasty. If people can have Christmas trees up while Halloween is going on, people can make spider cupcakes during Christmas time, okay? Okay. I get extra sassy when I'm fighting for a cause that I believe in. Let's see if these are tasty. Look at how cute these turned out. I dare you to serve this at your Christmas party. I dare you. Okay, honey. Okay, Bob. This week we have some very spooky Christmas cupcakes. Right, because you're you're trying to cut into Christmas, right? No, I'm trying to give Christmas a taste of its own medicine. Oh, I see. I'm only really hurting my own SEO because people are not looking up Halloween recipes. But you know what? I'm fighting for the underdog. I'm sticking it to the man. I'm sorry. Everything is just such a mess that I can't Put my hands somewhere. Wow. I have to hunch down. He became a house husband. There we go. Well, can you respond to my realization that I'm only hurting my own channel, fighting for my cause? That's true. Yeah, um, you're going down with the ship for sure. No no doubt about that. But look how cute these are. I really wanted to make these for Halloween. They look cute. You look like a you know 50-year-old mom who, who like spent a lot of time on it. It's hard to celebrate Halloween when there's Christmas trees in every single shopping mall during that season. So when's Halloween season over? I don't know. When's Christmas season over? February? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Halloween. And they leave their trees up yeah, until February, so yeah. Christmas is taking a third of the year. That's true. I think it needs a little, that needs, it needs to back off a little bit. Yeah. And I think we need to enjoy some spooky Halloween cupcakes during Christmas time. You might want to take the black licorice yeah, out first. Want to it's do just that. for show. Okay. Oh, dang. Yeah? That's really good. Hell what is this? yeah. Is it's it, just a new recipe I tried out. It got really good reviews. Is it dark chocolate? It's semi-sweet. It's good. It's not super, super like sweet, right? Chocolate. It's not dark chocolate. Yeah, I know, I can tell. It's but it looked like it. semi-sweet. This is really good, though. Yes! It's tasty! Good Hell yeah! Are you in the Halloween spirit? I mean, yeah, but I still want to go get a tree tomorrow. Yeah, we don't have a tree yet, see? Because we're still in Halloween. Yeah, we can decorate it like Christmas. We get to put spooky ornaments on it. No, no, no. I just want to decorate it like okay, Christmas. Okay, cool. I'm so glad we're on the same page. I don't really think that we're on the same yes. page. Yes! Ooh, tree we tree could tree. put, like, a pumpkin and a jack-o'-lantern face on it. Can we put it on the back part of the tree that mm, faces the wall? Mm, these are freaking bomb. Yeah, they're really good. Oh my god. Yeah. Who made these? These are so good. Oh my gosh, make these. I'm putting the recipe down in there. Happy Halloween, everybody. Merry Christmas. Sure. Ooh.